called my boss and I said, well, now that this project's over, you know, what, what's next? And he said, well, there's this ship. What do you mean there's this ship? And uh, he said, well, look up. It's unreasonable at sea. We're looking into sponsoring this. And you're going to be sailing around the world doing design thinking and helping these entrepreneurial companies grow. Uh, this is George Bernard Shaw. Uh, he's the patron saint of the Unreasonable Institute, and he's famous for saying that the reasonable person adapts himself to the world, the unreasonable one persists in adapting the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable person. Over a billion people live on less than a dollar a day. There's another 900 million who don't have access to clean drinking water. We live in a world today where children under the age of five are dying of preventable diseases like diarrhea. If George Bernard Shaw is right, if progress depends on the unreasonable person, then we can't afford not to bet on unreasonable people. I am founder of an organization called Unreasonable at Sea, which, which we see as a, a radical experiment in transnational entrepreneurship trying to solve you know, the most difficult social and environmental challenges of our time. So what, what we're actually doing uh, is we have a group of 11 technology companies selected from about a thousand that applied in just under a hundred countries. We took those 11 companies, we put them on a ship, and we're now sailing around the world together. We're going into 13 countries over the course of 100 days, and we're experimenting on how it is we can take their technologies that are effective in one country, or maybe two or three countries, and how we really scale those globally and make certain that these entrepreneurs who are trying to build global companies are doing so with a lot of empathy. Why would SAP be involved in, in a partnership like this or a sponsorship like this? Why not? We kind of scoured the globe. We were looking for three multinational organizations who really had innovation baked into their DNA, and we wanted them to come on, come on the voyage with us and to live with the entrepreneurs. Uh, one of those organizations, maybe the most active right now, is, is SAP. And SAP is a massive company. But what's brilliant about them is I think 65,000 employees today. But of course, it was started as an entrepreneurial venture from day one. In 1972, a, a, a small group of unreasonable young men who thought it was unreasonable to have to rewrite the software every time a mainframe got sold came together, formed this notion of packaged software and created SAP. It was interesting, the packing list that they sent us. They said, uh, you know, it's going to be casual, but you need to be able to have a formal occasion in case we meet a head of state. And you're also going from Tokyo to India to South Africa, and, you know, the climate's changed. So, but, you know, only pack one small bag. So uh, that was a design challenge in itself.
we are two months into the program uh, and we've built so many human connections in this journey that this whole ship feels like a family. But our role initially came, uh, was defined as what we call learning partners. And then quickly over time we realized, well actually, uh, we, we are way more than just learning partners and people that learn ourselves. We are actually people that can give back. SAP is an is a amazing institution because it's so spread around the world. I think it's a great company to look up to. It's been great to have SAP involved. They're, they're there in the classroom, they're there with the entrepreneurs, they're uh, sharing their expertise, and uh, a lot of the entrepreneurs uh, really don't have that background in how business operates. And so having the experts, people uh, from SAP right there is a tremendous asset. Plus the, the sponsorship, of course, is wonderful. I think having SAP there pulls them back and makes them much more effective. We take a lot of pride in our uh, corporate social responsibility initiatives, and this is a great extension of our teaching initiatives into a broader role. Very excited to uh, build a, a, a real relationship uh, with everybody on board, especially with SAP. I was very, very impressed with their social responsibility and a lot of the programs that they're doing. SAP is a, is a learning partner. Uh, he has been he has brought a lot, quite of experience, especially from his uh, business background in IT. He has also managed us to, to see how we can uh, implement IT solutions into our businesses. The ship has a lot of different analogies and metaphors that you can use in life and you know sometimes you have to course correct or sometimes you're going to be in uncharted waters or territories and we have a whole long list of the ship lingo that we often use in our lives. Our vision is to help the world run better by making people's lives better and we're very very keen to explore how we can help governments and agencies to work more effectively by ensuring that we can deliver transparency, well-governed business processes and visibility. There's an entrepreneurial renaissance that's taken over the global landscape. We hold ourselves back. We are afraid of our own greatness. And if you have a passion, just follow it. Follow it to the ends of the world. The entrepreneurs definitely can learn a lot, but we as a large organization have probably got, we got as much out of it as they did. You know, amazing for SAP to be one of the first um, learning partners on board or first sponsors of this program.